Hi everyone, there has been a lot of new AI updates lately and I have gathered a few interesting ones that you might have missed. Like this one here that changes the expressions and head angles of any character. Later on in this video, I will also show you how you can create consistent characters and turn them into an animation just like this one here. For this guide, I will use a random image of an AI generated character. There is a funny website called this person does not exist.com just refresh until you get something you like and save it now back to the expression changer inside of open art let me show you how easy it is and how much you can control with this tool here so after uploading the image i click up here on face and we get a menu on the right side with a bunch of options so we have a lot of different settings we can choose from head positioning, eyebrow, mouth adjustments like opening the mouth, widening, adding roundness and so on. Let's start with the smile. So all I do is drag this bar here to the right to make our character laugh. Look at that, our character is laughing and showing a great smile within seconds. It's so great that I can't even tell that the image has been edited. Here is the first image and here is the second. Now let me adjust the head side direction. Drag it to the left and let's see what we get. This is unbelievable. Now her head has slightly been rotated to the left. Everything else is in place and I can't even find any artifacts even though we changed the original image twice. My absolute favorite section is the eye adjustments down here. We can control if the eyes should be open or closed, the direction where the eyes are looking, both horizontal and vertical. I want this character to look to the side and drag the bar to the left Let's see if we can still expect some good results here. And this is what we got. Now we have a character with a great smile, slightly rotated head and looking to the side. We'll talk about maintaining the same character while changing expressions. Something like this would take a lot of time with mid-journey, but here you can upload your own image and make small adjustments within seconds. And the best thing is that it's really easy to use and you don't even need to write a long prompt or even train a model. Imagine you have a great image of yourself, but you are not smiling. Well, that's not a problem anymore with a tool like this. I'll upload a new image. This time I will generate the character myself. I will use the new Flux open source image generation model. So this is a new model that some people say is even better than Midjourney and it has been developed by Black Forest Labs, which is the team behind Stable Diffusion. The great thing about a website like OpenArt is that you have everything under one roof. So over here, I can just pick a model. They have all the great models that you can think of. I'll pick the new Flux model here. Now for the prompt, I write a man wearing a scarf in the jungle, portrait, ambient lighting, and this is what we got. Now back to the expression changer over here, we have some presets that will change the expression of our character without us needing to adjust the settings. Like this one here, which will make our character happy. And here we go, a happy man in the jungle. How about our character being surprised because they see a beautiful panda maybe? Just click on the preset and choose surprised. And within a few seconds, our character looks surprised. Now let's see how he looks if I pick wink. Well, that's cool. It even managed to close one eye entirely while the other one has been minimized somewhat. Just like the way people wink. If you can wink without your other eyelids moving, drop a comment down below and also don't forget to subscribe. Here is what I got when I picked the sleepy option. To be honest, it looks like people who try to wink but only managed to do so by closing both eyes. This is the frown preset and here are a few more I experimented with. Now let's move on to the next great thing that I want to share with you. So inside open art, they have a section called anime character. What I have noticed is that it's great at generating consistent characters and you can start by uploading an image of a character of your own or use one of their presets. So I will show you how you can use only two images and create an entire animation from that. For the sake of this demonstration, I will use this character here. You can write a custom prompt if you are looking for a specific angle or pose. Further down, pick a style for the images and lastly, pick an expression. I'll go with annoyed. Of course, you can also increase the number of images you generate down here. For creating an animation, we don't need more than two images. So I went with these two here. 
Now let me just quickly make a few adjustments inside of Photoshop, like removing this belt here because she doesn't have that on the first image. I just use the lasso tool to select around the belt and use the generative fill inside of Photoshop and simply write remove to remove the belt. Great, right? Now this can also be done inside of OpenArt using their in painting tool, but I usually use Photoshop, so I just went with it. I also changed the color of her eyes because we got two different colors, but in the end I went back to the different colors because they made our character look more unique. So now that we have two images of our character, we can use something like Eleven Labs to create a voice for her and Luma Labs to turn our images into animation. Let's start with the animation part. So simply go to Luma Labs AI, create an account for free, and you should be able to create at least 10 animations every day for free. Sometimes you can even generate 20 animations per day, so simply upload your two images up here. Remember that the first frame of your video will be the first image you upload, and the last frame will be the second image you upload. After that, write a prompt describing your video or animation and make sure the enhanced prompt is checked as it tends to give better results in my opinion. I usually generate two animations at a time just to have enough variations to choose from. Now the videos might take some time, so if you want to generate even more, feel free to do that. So after a while, this is the videos that we got. This is the first one and this is the second one. So even though we wrote the same prompt and used the same images, we got different results. This is just the way it works and that is why I recommend a few tries to be on the safe side. However, if you are a little creative, you can use these videos and still make something decent. I will continue with these two videos and add some sound effects and the voice for our character. I used Eleven Labs to generate these sound effects. and I also cloned a voice from the community library for our character. Now here are the two videos right after each other with no sound. And here is the final video with a simple transition and the sound effects. Oh, hi! If you like this, you should definitely subscribe and check out openart.ai. So when I work with a project, I like to have everything under one roof instead of changing websites and so on. So this is why I recommend OpenArt because they have the most important models and AI tools and their plan is very cheap. I use the hobbyist plan myself, but there is also a free plan if you want to try it out or a starter plan for only $7 per month. There is also a pro plan for more serious users or if you're working on a project. I have put the link in the description down below, so make sure you check it out. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.